What's up guys, Artoboy here. Today we're doing another video to really taking a look at the Harbor Freight Survival Knife. Let's begin. Ah uh, yes, another Harbor Freight piece to talk about. But this time it's actually not about the machetes. Yes, there's actually another one I did not pick up, which actually is just a basically just a copy of a of a Gerber Gator machete. But this one on the other hand is another one of Another survival knife that looks eerily similar to a uh, bayonet, the M9 bayonet. But if you know what I'm talking about, well, I already reviewed another one of those. So, let's talk about the sheath itself. So, the sheath is nylon stitched together, which... Belt, belt loop out there. And surprising thing, it's not falling apart like the machetes out there with a the plastic snap-on button out there and of course the blade itself seriation edge check and uh, you can take off the you can actually disassemble the thing too yeah so here's a little compass A little bag filled with, you guessed it, pieces that you need for your survival needs. You've got the matches, luring for your, no wait, that's the, the sewing kit. And of course, the fish hook out there. Oh yeah, there's some little buttons out there too. So, and then we take off the, you can also take this off too, which... <clears throat> Let me fix. I don't know. That's really stupid of me doing that. Just basically. Oh, yeah. And then. Yeah, you can just take the whole handle off out there. Yep. And this is what it looks like. The tang is this. Yep. Oh yeah, I'll be right back. Let me fix this. And then we got this little guy. So and you take the screw off. You need a hexagon screws. And the size you need is a one dash eight. So Here's the screw. Yep, that's the tang. I'm surprised. Yes. The steel itself is, I could definitely bet this is a stainless steel. So let's uh, assemble this back assemble this back out there so you need to take the handguard on there screw back in out there make sure you tighten this thing okay and uh I don't know which side is this one's. Take the handle and squeeze that in there. <clears throat> stuff this uh, survival stuff in there. Screw this back in the pommel cap. And there you go. Now, Size on it, okay. Size of the blade is eight inches. Meanwhile, the handle, including its guard, six inches. You know, the overall size is 14 inches. Actually, almost 14 inches. So, let's test this bad boy out.
Okay, let's, uh, well, the cut itself, pretty deep. It's not bad out there. But, uh, the problem about it, by just smacking on a wood out there, chopping on wood out there, yeah, this thing, I feel like I can't repair the thing anymore. Which is just, yeah. I gotta say, it always uh, surprises me over it by the whole tire Harbor Freight stuff up there. Why, you may ask? Well, they could basically, you know the machetes that I reviewed out there? Yeah, they're not the best, but good God, that is just unbelievable. And unlike the uh, other survival knives I had out there, this, uh, I could maybe repair it. Or, but this one, I don't know if I can repair it. Wow, that's a... But a budget knife is, you know, not terrible. But, yeah. That's just not right. So, the final verdict on the Harbor Freight Survival Knife goes by the mirror of a 5 out of 10. Oh, man. Yeah, kind of cruel out there. But, you know, just like uh, you could definitely know, I could have actually given it a really higher rating, but unfortunately, this thing did not really... did not survive any of the wood tests out there. It actually just wobbled out there but it's a budget knife out there so yeah kinda so that wraps up of the the harbor freight survival knife i'm our tillboy and i'm sunny out hope you guys to see you guys next time